You might not know this, but a lot of the iPad's useful features are tied to the Contacts app. You can store a wealth of information for each of your friends and families, as well as other important contacts. And that information is then shared with other apps, such as Messages and Maps, making your iPad even more useful. One of the first things I do when I get a new iPad is make sure my family and friends are all entered in my Contacts app. You should too. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Rich, and if you're a senior or beginner looking to learn how to use your iPad without frustration, then you've come to the right place. My goal on this channel is to produce easy to understand and follow videos that show you how to get the most out of your iPad without going crazy. And if you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And by the way, if you don't know how to subscribe, I just did a video on how to navigate YouTube, so you might want to check that out. So my mom is in her 90s and she whips around on her iPad every day. It's a great device for communication, for viewing YouTube videos like this one, and really a million other things. But learning the basics on how to use it, well, that's step one. So today's video is all about Apple Contacts, and if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to turn on iCloud Sync. That way, you only have to input your contact names and numbers one time. If you ever buy a new iPad or iPhone or other Apple device, when you set it up and log into iCloud, all your contacts will just sync up like magic. No double work. Okay, here's today's five simple tips. How to add your first contact, how to edit a contact, how to make a quick FaceTime call without having to know anything about FaceTime, how to use maps to get directions to your contact, and how to send a text message using contacts. Okay, first things first. This is how you add your very first contact. So the first thing you do is tap on your contacts, and we're gonna add a contact. And to add a contact, you just touch the little plus button up here. And we're gonna add one of my favorite places to go. Home Depot, and then you can scroll down and you can tap on add a phone, and I'm not going to have, I don't have their mobile phone, but you can choose the phone, and so I'm going to choose work, and then I'm going to type in their number, and you don't have to type in any spaces or dashes or anything like that, it does it for you, as you can see. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to add their address. And you tap on the city. And then you click done. And that is how you add a contact. Really simple. Just tap on the plus button, enter the information, and click done. And you're finished with it. That's all you got to do. All right, the next. The next tip that I want to give you is how to edit a contact. So let's say I put something wrong in here with Home Depot. So if we click on Home Depot again, up in the top right corner you have edit and you just click on that and maybe the phone number is 3, 2203 instead of 2202. And you can go into any of the fields and change them to correct it. And when you're done, you just click done. And that is how you edit a contact. Very straightforward and simple. So, did you know you can actually make a FaceTime call from your contacts? You don't have to open up the FaceTime app. You don't have to know anything. You just tap on the name of who you want to call. And then at the top, you'll see you can message, FaceTime, make a FaceTime call, make a FaceTime video call, and you can email. And you can actually send them money too, right from the contacts app. So it's really very handy. But in this case, I'm gonna call my wife. So I just tap on FaceTime. Hello. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me and see me okay? Yes. Okay. All right, well, thanks for helping me out. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> and you tap on end, and that's how you make a quick FaceTime call. Pretty simple. Okay, the next tip I want to give you is how to use maps um, to get directions to your contacts. So 
we've put Home Depot in here. If I tap on Home Depot and you look at the information, you'll see it, what looks like a little map with a pin on it. And if you tap that, it'll give you a map of the location of where that Home Depot is. And then you'll notice over here, it gives you some more information. Two places, I guess there's a couple of different places with a similar address, but we want the Home Depot address. And if you just tap on uh, the little icon that's got the car on it, it'll give you directions from where you are to that Home Depot. So if you tap on that, there you can see from my location, if I leave now, it'll take me about seven minutes to get over to the Home Depot. And that's how you can get quick directions from your contacts uh, without having to actually go into the Maps app. It's really, you know, pretty, pretty handy. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to send a text message right from contacts. Again, you don't have to go to the messaging app if you're in your contacts app and you're looking up a person. I'll look up my daughter. You can just go up here again where you see the FaceTime icons, there'll be a messages icon and you can tap that. And now um, you're taken to uh, your messages app and you can just type a message. And I'm asking Lindsay, how's the game going? She's at a Carolina Hurricanes hockey game right now. And that's how you do it. You just simply send a message. And if you'll notice up in the top left corner, you'll see the word contacts with a little back arrow. You can tap that and it takes you back to your contacts. And that's how you send a text message using the contacts app. Okay, this last sort of bonus tip is uh, having to do with iCloud sync. And it's really important that you have iCloud turned on for your contacts. And if you do that, if you enter them one time, uh, on your iPad, then if you get another iPad in the future, you buy an iPhone or whatever, when you log into your iCloud account, you're going to see all your contacts there. You only have to enter them one time. And it's real easy to make sure that's going on. First thing you do is you go to settings, which is over here on my iPad. You tap on your name in the settings app. And then here you see iCloud. If you tap on iCloud, then you have all of this stuff down here. And if you notice, I have contacts turned on so if it's if it's like that I don't want to delete it so I'm gonna hit cancel here so if it's if it's grayed out it's not turned on and if it's green it is turned on and you want to make sure that it's green and that way you know your contacts are being backed up really really important small little tip but just something to remember when you're setting up your iPad in the beginning what a great way to jumpstart using your iPad yeah it takes a little time to get all your contacts data entered on your iPad, but it's one and done if you've got iCloud turned on. I really hope you found these tips helpful. If I went too fast, just watch the video again. You'll get the hang of using contacts before you know it. Well, that wraps up today's short tutorial, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.